Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and we all know what happens on a Thursday. We get an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, we've got an exciting new block to look at, as well as a GPS system. Yes, a GPS system. So let's actually have a look at the GPS to start with. So we've got this new tab added onto comms. There it is. And you can actually plot GPS coordinates. Now you can enter them manually by changing these characteristics of the X, Y, and Z axis, or you can even make a new one from your current position. So we can actually do one of them now. New from current position by clicking this. And you can see we've just created that now. Now you can also see this box to tick to show on the hood or not. So let's actually see if that shows up on the hood. So we've got that one there showing up on the hood right away. So these are a great way of tracking different asteroids with different sorts of resources on, naming them so you can quickly find them, and it would be really useful on your survival. Now let's have a look at another one of the GPS's actual features. So if we untick the actual box, well we're actually ticking them, so we'll go and tick both of them and we'll delete that one, and we'll delete this one. Now I'm going to insert a new GPS coordinate that's been provided me by a friend. So if we actually insert that, You'll see it's come up there, copied from clipboard, so you can copy that from outside the game or through different various methods in the game. And you see it's given me the coordinates and I can take a show on HUD and it should show up somewhere around there. So it's given me a direction and it tells me the name of that. So I can easily change that to gold, stay away from here, road turret or something even crazier like that. Now, first off, let's actually have a look at the new block. So let's have a look at the block in the menu. So bringing up G, we can actually have a look. We have the text panel. Now what could this be used for? Well, we'll place it on both a large ship and a small ship block. So it's a thin glass-like structure by the look of it. Make sure you've not got glass selected by mistake. It doesn't look like it's transparent. And if you put it on the larger piece, it looks like you get a large screen. And we can actually access this block and type in text. Now when I originally saw this, I thought it would be like a sign block. And you could put in whatever you want. Say for instance like um, a dog maybe. Like that. And show text panel. And then you can type in like whatever, so we'll just go for a random bit of code. And then it would show up on the actual menu in the background, but it doesn't It doesn't work like a sign. I was even hoping for maybe it scrolled across or something. Maybe in the future that would be really cool. But for the moment, you're left with quite limited options. So if you change the owner to yourself, like so, you have access to this new option that allows different people to read this. So we have options like only faction, faction read only, everyone can read and we'll just set that to everyone read only at the moment so you can use this to spread a message give coordinates or just a passerby who wants to read the sign and quickly collect it and have a look at the sign itself to see what it actually has on it this one's just got a dog on it for the moment but it could be really useful for passing information around different platforms especially on server sides where people need to know the rules for your server anyway let's move on now for the next thing, we're actually back on the main menus because it has to do with the settings of your worlds. Now if we head to the mods category and we actually load up all the mods in, as you know, having a lot of mods running at once, you really want to be able to pick and choose. And this list is quite hard to choose. They're not really too alphabetical order due to the mod people having different sorts of, mo sort of naming methods. But now at the top, we have different sorts of categories. So we have block, so it tells us all the different ones that have blocks. We have characters you can see which one are possibly character skins but remember this is something that you then actually have to tag in the actual objects you build so we have production so that's probably like generators and stuff for the moment though you can see that the tags have not really affected these too much because the mod developers and creators are going to have to individually go in and sort these out and other will probably just select everything else that's not in one of these categories but for the moment it is something to help you find the mods a little bit easier anyway that's all for this update. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.